Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And the bad news for them is that they have no chance of moving on to the knockout stages. It's Scotland versus Hungary. Well, it's been a difficult couple of games for them, but today they have to play with a bit of spirit and passion just to restore that little bit of pride. Let's hope they play well and do themselves justice. Here's how Scotland will line up. Well, the front three are really good in tight areas. They link up well, they play little one-twos, and they move the ball quickly. But unless the fullbacks get forward, the team lacks attacking width. And here's the 11 for Hungary. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation, but without wing-backs. So although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. And the match begins. Gilmore McGinn I must say this looks promising a fine reading of the situation and he might be through here and no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper Effective press. Sometimes you get to play just for pride. It has been confirmed that the home side tonight won't be progressing to the knockout stages of the competition. Well, obviously, these fans aren't happy. But it was always going to be a tough group for them. Let's hope they have something to cheer about today. Adam Nudge, Varga, and the challenge halts them in their tracks. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. He's blocked it! Schaefer. Barnabas Varga. And Scotland have it back now. Trying to open them up. Now the task is to remain focused. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, too much elevation on the header, but not a bad effort.
Guracci. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. He's beaten his man. Well, in there to tidy up. McGinn. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Breaking at pace. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Milos Kerkes. Great opportunity. Oh, a challenge of the highest order. John McGinn. Andrew Robertson. And a throw in for Scotland. Able to skip past his man. Well, far too much on that particular cross. An unforced error, you've got to say. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Now can they counter clinically? McGinn. Really good build-up, but no end product. Roland Chalai. Credit to them for winning back possession. That's a good-looking ball. Real chance. It could be up for grabs. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic... And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. What can they do to stop him running at them? And the cross goes in. Oh, such an elegant finish! How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Adam Nudge. Could be threatening. Now, will they do it from here? Full credit, wonderful stop. Can they hit on the break? Robertson, defenders need to cover. Oh, he looks threatening. And delivered into the box. Not away completely. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. So Bosloy. Kepkez. Far from textbook defending. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them.
and continues his run quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped and that is going to mean a caution the referee is absolutely right he knew what he was doing there Targets available, cross comes in. Well, still an issue here. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And so the match is underway. Trying to open them up. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. Not too much elevation on the header, but not a bad effort. And following the infringement, a call. And the cross goes in. Oh, such an elegant finish! How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way. And continues his run. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. cross well the cross was acceptable but no one there to thump at home and they couldn't quite muster a real threat McGinn McTominay this could square the game and that's exactly what has transpired now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Andrew Robertson. Now with Gilmore. And he has options available. But really sticking to the task defensively. Now can they hit them on the counter?
Schaefer. Good defending. John McGinn. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Good bit of closing down. McTominay. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Well, they've decided to make a change. Who can they pick out? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. But certainly allowing their opponent... And what a magical save it was! Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Can he deliver it with accuracy? A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here's the replay, and just look how close this is. But it's definitely the right call. That's technology at its best. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? So Bosloy. Adam Nudge. Roland Shalai. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. John McGinn. Promising looking ball. Big chance. Strong hand on that one. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Over it comes. Not all that convincing defensively. And putting his body on the line. Now let's see about the cross. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. So Bosloy. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Can he put it away? And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Delivering it. Just the clearance that was called for. Nicely timed tackle. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. McGinn. Well, the fans want to see a shot. So now a corner.
And over it comes. And just over the crossbar. Well, good delivery and decent contact, but he just couldn't get over it, could he? Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Gives it a go! Well, the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one. Well, it's another chance for him. As you said, he looks so hungry for goals today. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Playing it in. He did his job defensively. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? This could be it! Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Barnabas Barga. Strong but fair tackle. Callum McGregor John McGinn and do they mean business on this occasion and crossed in there and a goal they lead by two now and that allows them to breathe a bit more easily Well, let's have another look at this. The cross from Robertson is hit into a really dangerous area and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So back underway at 3-1. Adam Nudge. Ryan Christie. And unable to keep possession. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Good use of advantage. Has a go. And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. Corner given. Can he deliver it with accuracy? No nonsense piece of defending. Well, good run and good ball control. And there it is, the final whistle. A victory for Scotland. That's the big headline here. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. No two ways about it, he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Yeah, I think the only thing you could question, could he have been a touch more clinical in front of goal? Maybe he should have had two or three today. Regardless of that, it was a good performance and a great result. And the cross goes in. Oh, such an elegant finish! How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike. Whatever we...
McTominay. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point and momentum. In... Can he deliver it with accuracy? Strong hand on that one. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Gives it a go. Well, the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one. Well, it's another chance for him, as you said. He looked... And crossed in there. by two now and that allows them to breathe a bit more easily good use of advantage has a go and the goalkeeper's touch that was crucial corner given 